गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गिरीश बड़गुजर फ्रॉम पी एच जी बी पी मंडर्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी शाहदा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू स्टडी द सब्जेक्ट फार्मेकोलॉजी एंड टॉक्जिकोलॉजी इन मोस्ट इजिएस्ट वे पॉसिबल टूडेज टॉपिक इज फार्मेकोकाइनेटिक्स पार्ट थ्री इन विच वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ड्रग्स इन प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट ड्रग आफ्टर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन अंडरगोज सम प्रोसेसेस लाइक एब्सॉर्प्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड एक्सक्रीशन एंड दिस फोर प्रोसेसेस आर कॉल्ड एज फार्मेकोकाइनेटिक प्रोसेसेस एंड इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फर्स्ट फार्मेकोकाइनेटिक प्रोसेस दैट इज एब्सॉर्प्शन विच मीन्स एंट्री ऑफ ड्रग मोलेक्यूल इन टू द ब्लड सर्क्युलेशन आफ्टर एंट्री ऑफ ड्रग इन टू ब्लड द ड्रग मोलेक्यूल विल गेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू वेरियस बॉडी पार्ट्स बाय द प्रोसेस कॉल्ड एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस प्रोसेसेस ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड वेरियस फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट रेट ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ड्रग्स सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ड्रग वाट डू यू मीन बाय डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ड्रग इन द बॉडी बाय ब्लड स्ट्रीम टू इट्स साइट ऑफ एक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच ड्रग मोलेक्यूल मूव फ्रॉम ब्लड स्ट्रीम इन टू अदर बॉडी फ्लूड्स और इन अदर वर्ड्स इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एज द पासेज ऑफ ड्रग्स इन टू टारगेट ऑर्गन्स नॉन टारगेट ऑर्गन्स इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूड इंट्रा सेल्युलर फ्लूड ब्रेन प्लासेंटा और अदर बॉडी ऑर्गन्स और फ्लूड्स सो दिस इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नो वाई वी आर स्टडिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और वाट इज द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो आई हैव गिवन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ डिसीज कॉल्ड इनसोमनिया हियर इनसोमनिया मीन्स वॉट इट इज द डिसीज कैरेक्टराइज बाय लैक ऑफ स्लीप सो टू प्रोड्यूस स्लीप अ ड्रग इज गिवन एडमिस्टर्ड ओवरली दैट इज डायजेपैम नाउ दिस ड्रग विल प्रोड्यूस एक्शन ऑन ब्रेन द ड्रग इज टेकन टू प्रोड्यूस स्लीप एंड स्लीप इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ब्रेन राइट सो ड्रग मस्ट रीच ब्रेन टू प्रोड्यूस इट्स एक्शन बट द ड्रग इज गिवन ओवरली सो हाउ विल द ड्रग प्रोड्यूस एक्शन ऑन ब्रेन सो ड्रग विच इज गिवन ओवरली इट विल गेट एब्सॉर्ब्ड इन टू द ब्लड थ्रू द प्रोसेस कॉल्ड एब्सॉर्प्शन देन आफ्टर एब्सॉर्प्शन द सेकेंड प्रोसेस विल अकर दैट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थ्रू विच द ड्रग विल रीच इट्स टारगेट ऑर्गन दैट इज ब्रेन एंड आफ्टर रीचिंग द ब्रेन द ड्रग विल प्रोड्यूस एक्शन एंड पर्सन विल स्लीप सो दिस इज हाउ ड्रग रीचेस द ऑर्गन वेयर इट हैव टू प्रोड्यूस द एक्शन and the process which carry this uh, transport is called as distribution of drugs the proportion of drug distribution to its site of action determines how quickly it will produce a response and the duration of that response means if drug reaching the target organ earlier and quicker then it will produce quick action quick onset of action right and more the distribution of drug more the action more the duration of action of drug so the proportion of drug distribution to the site of action will determine two more things that is onset of action means how much time drug will take to produce the action after administration and duration of action of drug means how much action will drug produce or uh, how much time drug will continue to produce its action so from this we can also predict that drugs distribution may not be same everywhere in the body a uh, distribution of drugs throughout the body is not same the distribution depends on many factor distribution can be affected by some factors and these factors are called as factors affecting distribution of drugs these factors includes physico chemical properties of drugs such as lipid solubility ionization of drugs molecular weight and ph of media second factor which can affect distribution is route of administration of drug 
third factor is plasma protein binding fourth one is blood flow and next one is presence of barriers let's discuss these factors one by one so the first factor is physico chemical properties of drugs which includes lipid solubility lipid soluble drugs can penetrate cell membrane easily so get distributed easily and more than lipid insoluble drugs since cell membrane is made up of lipid so drugs which are lipid soluble can penetrate the cell membrane easily second factor is molecular weight low molecular weight drugs can cross membrane easily and get distributed while high molecular weight drug molecules remain in blood plasma next is ionization of drugs we have already discussed that non ionized drugs are lipid soluble so they can cross the membrane easily and get distributed to various body fluids or body parts while distribution of ionized form of drug is limited second factor which can affect ap uh, distribution of drug is route of administration parenterally administered drugs are well and widely distributed to various body organs and tissues with rich blood supply than the drugs administered orally third factor is plasma protein binding after absorption when drug enters into the blood some fraction of drug binds with plasma protein while some fraction of drug remains free only free drug is available for distribution metabolism and excretion this also means that only free drug will produce action the drug which binds with plasma proteins does not distribute it to various body parts and remain in blood it does not produce action so only the drug which is free which does not bind with protein will get distributed acidic drugs binds with albumin protein while basic drugs binds with proteins like alpha 1 acid glycoprotein and lipoproteins there is always an equilibrium between protein bound drug and free drug concentration this equilibrium is always maintained whether may be the amount of drug in circulation at any time when free drug get distributed it produce action get metabolized and excreted from the body so the concentration of free drug decreases and to maintain the equilibrium some protein bound drug becomes free thus protein bound drug act as reservoir of drug remember that only free drug will get distributed produce action get metabolized and excreted while protein bound drug remains in blood it will not get distributed if it will not produce any action it will not get metabolized or excretion for example if a drug is said to be have 60% protein binding it means 40% of drug will remains free this 40% drug will get distributed to various body parts it will produce its action get metabolized and finally it will get excreted from the body so the percent of drug which is free get decreased right because of this free drug concentration is decreased so to maintain the equilibrium 40% protein bound drug will becomes free this free drug will again get distributed produce action and finally get excreted after metabolism this process will continue till all the drug molecules get free and excreted from the body so if a drug is bound with protein in higher concentration it will take more time for its excretion it will remain in body for more time so it will produce prolonged action its duration of action will be more okay next factor is blood flow blood flow affect distribution of drug how distribution of drug is more and rapid in highly perfused organs such as liver brain kidney etc 
means more the distribution uh, more the blood flow more the distribution of drug distribution of drug is less and slow in low perfused organs such as skin and muscles so more the blood flow rapid the distribution and vice versa next factor is presence of barriers various physiological barriers such as blood brain barrier placental barrier etc also plays an important role in the distribution of drugs these barriers restrict some drugs from reaching the organs or tissues for example blood brain barrier which is also known as triple b restrict drugs like dopamine from reaching the brain only lipid soluble drugs can cross these barriers and reach the brain while lipid insoluble drugs cannot cross the blood brain barrier and so their distribution is restricted so if there is presence of barrier then the entry of drug into that organ depends on lipid solubility ionization of drug molecular weight of drugs and permeability of drugs so here we finished about distribution of drugs if you have any queries or questions you can write in comment box thank you